Dr. Chris here with the Ask Dr. Chris Show. Today's question comes from Beth. She would like to know, uh, why do I have cold hands and feet? Uh, it's a good question. A lot of people do. A lot of women have cold hands and feet. Sometimes it is a circulation issue. So it is about being in a cold room and you've you've been sitting or, or typing at your computer for a long time, but you've got cold hands and feet. Other times it's actually an indication of something more um, internal, and that can be thyroid issues. So thyroid issues, low thyroid function, low metabolism can give you cold hands and cold feet. Do have your iodine levels tested. If you've got low iodine function, low iodine levels, it will suppress your thyroid function and you can get the cold hands and feet just from simply that alone. There is a condition called um, uh, Raynaud's phenomena and it's where you get uh, blue tips when you get really, really cold. And if you, you're left to go cold even more so, they'll go red and then even purple. So a lot of women have that and varying degrees of that and they don't realize it's a form of a circulation issue. It's often genetic. There's not a lot you can do about that other than obviously keeping your hands and your feet warm. Uh, but that's just a side note about Raynaud's phenomenal Raynaud's syndrome. So that's just a side and it's genetic often in women. Uh, low adrenal function, which means you've been under a lot of stress for a long time, you're quite fatigued, it can lead to cold hands and cold feet, um, basically because your blood pressure is being redistributed to the trunk and your limbs are, are often forgotten as part of that process. So do look at your stress levels, do have your adrenal levels tested and do decide you know, whether some changes need to be made to try and optimize your whole health and obviously use circulation as that motivation to do that. So thanks so much for your question. I look forward to answering more of your questions. Please leave them below. I hope that you're loving the Ask Dr. Chris show. If you would like to see more of the Ask Dr. Chris show, please press subscribe.